Hello everyone, I'm D-Mind, the mind of one and all, and welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity. So, in the last episode, we just created our character. A lot of reading in that episode. And there's even more reading now. Caravan Master Odema. Odema. The Caravan Master finishes addressing the group, his bushy red moustache and sagging jaws quivering as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods toward a looming black mass on the hillside. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Alright. Tonight everybody stays put, and in the morning we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he... As he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rock, could be. There's a stinging beetle round here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. Huh? Stinging beetle round here, carries it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Huh? There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. Why, am I sick or something? Am I, uh, did I contact some disease by beetle? I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Oh. Otherman looks over his, sh his shoulder as he, at his assistant, a lanky... Intense man named Sparfo who carries an old sun bleach bow. He nods in your direction, Sparfo nods and slides the one bow over your sh over his shoulder. Where will I find these berries? What are those ruins? Dangerous out here? Why are these huge rocks coming out of the ground? Uh, where will I find? They grow on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. What are those things? Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. He asked with a wink. Who did build the wings? Got different names for them. Settlers called them in Gwithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. Is it dangerous out here? Not if you hurry about your business. And not if the weather holds up. What kind of weather do they get out here? I never this read This time of year? Rain, mostly. And wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here, time to time. Locals call it a beowick. Born out of the ether. The spirit's path. Never seen it myself, never care to. Why this you should They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. I like how the attention to detail and how much like you can pick your my background, my class, my origin, and then I can even pick and yes, voice acting? Hmm. I'll go see about this berry then. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most of this lot. But you drop dead. I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. Alright. He stands over the travelers resting his eyes at length on a sturdy armor clad woman who has spent the journey night sleeping on uneven ground without blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! The woman looks up on her own time. He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. Potential love interest, Nana. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? 
kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. What am I chuckles and shakes his head? He looks at you. He casts a long sight. He casts a sight long glance at her. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. Eh, I'm not scared of them. Break it on. Uh, are there my small green receipts beneath his mustache and his turn once more? Alright. Welcome to Pillars of Eternity. If this is your first visit to the world of Yora, you may want to watch these windows and become familiar with the tools and interfaces available to you. Alright. Um, your party always consists of your character and up to 5 additional companions of all adventurers. While the caravan is camped outside the Glenfeather ruins, Odema has assigned Kaliska to help you. Kaliska is a fighter, a class that excels at close quarters, defense, use your abilities com to complement your role. Alright. To select a party member, click on their selection circle, their portrait, or press the number button that corresponds to their position in the party. Starting with one at the left, to the select multiple party members, click and hold anywhere on the screen and drag that mark over the circles of the party members you would like to include. Uh, all right. What is it? What is it? To move your character, click anywhere on the screen where your cursor is. It's a circle of four wedges. All selected characters will will path to their corresponding position in the formation. If you see a red circle. If I slash through it, you cannot walk on that part of the map. Alright. Um, I guess the game pauses for the tutorial. When multiple party members are selected, the action bar is hidden. To see an individual's character option, select only that character. Well. Alright. Yeah, the fire is... The game is paused. How do I unpause it? Alright. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Yes. Um, how do I move the camera? Can I even Take move the camera? It. I guess not. Most people you encounter in the world are neutral or friendly. You can interact with them by clicking on their collection circle. Many characters will simply greet you and go on their way, but others will have to larger conversations to explore. Oh, I move it by the mouse. The merchant, you then. Alright. The merchant here then has a conversation that opens his store with equipment for sale. All right. Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries for sale. You see a man wearing simple but mostly neat clothes. He's transfixed, however, by a rag tear in the seam of his tunic. Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. He shakes his head and laughs when he notices you. He scratches one cheek and he's with his knuckle, it's covered with uneven stubble, as if he hasn't qu quite gotten used to shaving on the road. Say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale, if you'd like to take a look. Let's see what you got. Alright. I want a sword. Dagger. Alright, stores allow you to trade, sell your items for coppers. Pieces or items in the store's inventory. Which means buy items from you at a greatly reduced price. If you sell something, you may see it appear in the store's inventory. Alright, All right, and C to open your character as you would expect. And my inventory. I, as you would expect. Again. Alright. Oh. Exploration is key in Pillars of Eternity. As you make your way through the Eastern Reach, open the area map to see where, what parts of the map you've already been to and what's left to explore. M to open map, as you would expect in an RPG. In this kind of RPG. I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Alright. Cool.
Let's check by those outcroppings. Outcroppings? Oh, here. Oh, there. Is that the base? Path. The, this path winds through a narrow. Winds through a narrow Shouldn't canyon back the way you came. Grooves in the road mark the passage of car of hundreds of caravans. Alright. Why right over here? Oh, is that corpses? Oh, it is a wolf. Pillar of. Oh. Pillars of standing combat uses a possible real time system. Because you often manage more than one character at a time, it's a good idea to pause the game, issue orders, and resume real time to see the orders play out. The option menu is also contains many choices for automatic pausing when certain conditions are met. This is the problem with Final Fantasy XIII. Real time combat, and they only. and they don't let you pause or anything. No. The chef. What you need? Uh, we'll just attack it. Alright, unpause it. All characters in the game, Fendi and Four, have four primary defenses against attacks. Deflection, Fortitude, Reflex, and Will. These defenses are based on the character's attribute level, items, and other effects. Accuracy is compared to the appropriate defense when an attitude when an attack is made. If accuracy is below the target's defense, uh, the attack suffers a penalty to the roll and is more likely to result in a miss. If accuracy is above the targeted defense, then in a crit. Alright. To the left, the portrait will still start. The portrait will always start to grease. When the portrait fills entire red, the character will be knocked out. Oh. Potions and spells can be used to restore endurance to keep characters in the fight, but health can only be restored by resting. Alright. Alright. That took a bit. We both ganged up on the wolf. While we did manage to kill it easily. We both did gang up on the wolf and... And it did took quite a lot of hits to die. Maybe I should have started it easy. Nah. Yes. The berries! This is it. As you see, quest, your journal will update with relevant information. If you ever get stuck, open it up to view your notes. You are kind of a mystery to the rest of the caravan. Just some kind of wonder the way I heard it. That sort of thing tends to happen with orphans. Sure, I wander into the life of fools, talk them out of their money and wander back out. Nah, I'm not that. You have to be when people are looking for you. That isn't your business. Uh, not an orphan. Well, maybe I am. How do I know that? Sure, I know that. That's in your business. Shit yourself. Can't very well force you to have a person I can I? Kaliska breathes in her surroundings. It's been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Lord Redrick's offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You, you here to sell like the rest of the lot? It's a hard offer to pass up. No, I'm just passing through. No, I'm just passing through. That's usually the case with the big city. Just a little ways further up the same road. Where are you headed? No way special, just putting as much time and distance between me and my old life as I possibly can. I'm going to continue on to the city. See where, see where that takes me. I'll probably wander for a while. Down where I can make some money. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. See where that takes me. Close one is Defines Bay, the capital. Few, few days out, got its nice places and its not so nice places. Same as any city, but do, but the doc is a good man, as I hear. Anyway, I'm wasting his time here. Or they might, will give me a earful. Let's be on our way. Tell me about yourself. Where can I? Why are you here? Kaliska sighs unevenly. Her eyes search the ground at her feet. My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried, but that's not always. But that's not how she always is. This time though, she asked me to come out, and that's got me a little worried. I haven't seen her in ages. Been doing guide work in Ixamil, but I'd do anything for her. She's well. She's well. She's a much better woman than me. So I'm here, and we'll see. 
Tell me about yourself. I've got simple needs. I like open skies and far horizons. I find work that lets me live that way. My family wonders too. We started in dry wood, but my parents ended up in the living lands. I got a brother named Rawatai and another in Asia. My sister is Gilded Phil. She's the only real homebody. What can you tell me about dry wood? I'm not much for history, but from what I know, it used to be part of the Asia Empire. Broke off after a war some years back. The locals here are feisty, and that's how they like it. Alright, let's head back to camp. Oh wait, I've been out of touch, but I've been hearing weird things. Weird kinds of things about it lately. People having trouble giving birth, I guess. A lot of them been going on for years now, but somehow it's getting worse. With an uneasy tremor in her voice, she adds, I have to ask my sister more about it. Alright, let's head back to camp. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Sparfle is getting you water anytime soon. He does what he feels like, when he feels like it. We should check up on him first, slap him around a little. Streams down that way, come on, let's get you your water. Where is that way? This way? Nope. Mm -hmm. Well? This way? I hear stream. No, let me get him. We find him dead. Okay, we're at the stream. Though he's nowhere to be found. Yeah, he's nowhere to be seen. That's slacker. Oh, I see you across the stream. Go through this bridge. What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Come on, this is recent. Not good. You crouch at the river and dip your water skin into cool water while Kaliska waits nearby, keeping watch. As you rise, you notice her look up sharply towards the tree line. I think something attacked him. Out of the trees emerges Sparfo, one of the guys, barely discernible in the dim of in the dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow and there is a strangeness to his gait. A spastic wobble in his ordinary death stride as he moves towards you with a labored breath. Sparful, are you alright? Sparful tool catches on a rock and he collapses forward in the heat. The feathered shaft of an arrow planted between The feathered shaft of an arrow, so some it was pushing that did this year. Planted between his shoulders like an enemy's like, like an enemy flag. Okay, the game passed. So, how do I wanna? No, I want. Yes. I think we should get. Um. Is this my abilities? Oh, this is my abilities. Oh, there. I wanna try this. Him, you. What you need? Knock down. Two per encounter. Melee only. Alright, we'll knock him. We'll knock that guy down. And pause. Oh, this takes a while to cast. Still alive. I need something Sometimes a weapon or spell isn't well suited to penetrating and its damage reduction when the attack hits. The DR will wipe out all but a small percentage of the incoming damage. You hear your character complain about it when it happens. I guess that's what just happened. Take heat more note the damage type that's being blocked and switch to a weapon or spell that does a different damage type. Alright. Yes. Take care of it. Oh. I managed to Alright, let's kill this guy then. I managed to to change his mind. 
I thought he failed. That's an interesting ability. Curse your eyes. All right. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Not after we loot him. Hide armor. My male armor is better. Kind of. Take all. Alright. Why can't I go further in? Oh, it's a camp. Is this their camp? Beer! Of course. Need some beer. The footprints you want to campfire are in this thing and may have been here for days or even or longer. Alright. Why is the caravan under attack? I wouldn't think so, because it seems like those two guys are alone, maybe. How about well, let's check up on the caravan. Oh, it is. Alright, time to use more of my magic. Yes. Sinister Whisper of Treason. On that. And you... Hmm? Knock this guy out. Alright, I'm past. Uh, this is not looking too well. Alright, you guys. Focus on this guy. One of your characters has become fatigued. Fatigue represents the physical and psychological wear and tear of demanding activities on the character. It builds up over time and as characters travel, explore, and especially when they engage in combat. Some scripted interaction will also result in fatigue if they are especially grueling. The lactic skills automatically slows the onset of fatigue from any source. Fatigue goes through multiple stages, initially inflicting minor penalties but growing in severity over time. Resting is the easiest way to remove the effect of fatigue. The sound consumables can also lower characters' fatigue too. Total. Alright. Oh, is this my character being fatigued? Oh no, I can't use any magic. How about you? Hmm? What skills can you do? Talk to- Nah, no, I don't want to talk to you. Let's attack her. him. This is taking a while. And he's got a lot more- A lot more- Takes a lot more hit than I thought they would. And why are they only attacking me? I have half, like, less than half my health left. Do I have any items to heal? No. Nada. All right. Of course. Take all. Inventory. Let's see. Wait, why does she have all my eye? I'm just being safe here and making sure that she doesn't take the items away when she leaves my party eventually. Oh, let's see here. Hmm. I want a shield. Yep, I want a shield. Alright. What's this? We'll fight. Alright. Grab off. Oh. Oh, the caravan is dead. Can I loot them? All around you lie the massacred remains of the other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hip hilts, splayed and bug-eyed and filthy on the blood-damp earth. Kaliska, 
puts the back of her left hand onto to her mouth as if to ward away the horror like a poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stands above the fallen, treading on limbs and backs and heads, jerking their axes from bodies as if from half split logs as they prepare to add you to the spoiling pile beneath them. One of them, towering and severe, with a thick beard, tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of the man you recognize as Hyodan, the last of your caravan van left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight. You will lose. Why have you done this? Law 1. The wound has not been sullied by our hands. Wait, the wounds has not been sullied by our hands. Men of men of air gl glass of oh, so my law is enough for him to get. We have not tried spite. We merely wish to pass through. I do not know what they did, but I didn't have anything to do with it. Murderers, you will pay for each life. You will try to kill us all either way. Why make it easy? I think we'll go go this because he has a law check here. Your words carry no weight. When I have seen the truth with my own eyes, blood must be paid for this intrusion. This position is inherently good or bad in Pillars of Eternity, but if your main character is a priest or paladin, you must be careful not to misalign their dispositions with what is favored by their deity and order, respectively. For the main character only, their dispositions will modify the effects of Holy Radiance for priest and faith um, and conviction for paladins. You have now one rank in a disposition reputation. These reputations represent how people perceive your personality throughout the world. Even seeming... Bleh. So I say again, lay down your arms. Alright. I have not met any of these. We are innocent in this, will you not listen to reason? Intellect 13. You can kill them, but you might as well be killing yourself. Intellect 15. Judging by the string of animal teeth around your neck, I'm guessing you are worshippers of Galloway. If Galloway told you to stop protecting the ruins, would you? Wait, if Galloway told you to stop protecting the ruins, would you? Put down your weapon very well and go. Stay on. The man frowns and motions as if to swing his axe. He then winches, but the blow never comes. Instead, the man cocks his head and treat. Of course, but he would not. It is by the command of all the gods that we accept this charge. How do you know? Because it's consistent with the, their beliefs or because it's what you were told? The man glares. It has always been known to my people. I see. And what of Galloway's, Galloway's addict and that weakness and age must be purged by youth and strength? You think Galloway would want some moldy crumbling stones to survive long after their builders have turned to dust? The man nostrils flash as he feels. He would not. He told us otherwise. I'm sure he did. Just not you personally. But why would should that stop you from killing innocents? Distracted, the man's grip falters on his axe handle and he nearly fumbles it. According to affording Heal then the moment he needs to dodge out of his swing, which comes too late. Howling with rage, the man charges you instead. Okay, I saved the guy. Or maybe I'll just take less damage. Yes. I wanna use this. I'm gonna whisper... This guy. Hmm? Not the captain over, the leader. How can I help? Blinding Strike, the dirty trick that enables one unable to see. Alright, unpause. Alright, now the two of you I want you to attack. This hunter. While that guy is hunted down and while I take control of the other one. And w 
We need to release the leader for us. Alright, uh, should the hunter is still with us, so let's all gang up on him. Alright, let's finish off the last hunter. Cool. Is that his intestines all flying out? Glaphatan leader. Your enemy lies supine on the ground. Unable to rise, his companions now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing, fit, fitful gas. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a whisper of wind stirs the air. At this time, at this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good. The gods are just... A queer smile crosses his face. I'm ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, upending parts and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to heat beneath your skin like a jetty beginning to succumb to the search of a great wave. And where it pierces you, it feels as though it is rending you apart from within. Seated against your wagon, wheel amidst the howling maelstrom, slash across the chest and bowel, Odema's body stirs. And with great effort, he raises his flagging head, his eyes barely open, he looks directly at you. Get inside! R Run! Alright. Oh. Um, why are we going up there? Okay. Straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands in the worn folds of weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up from the, the precipice. With a last burst of energy before your arms give up, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Alright. Hildan trails behind you, slowly slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rock, one of the fallen attackers who had been feigning death lunges at for Hilden and topples him onto the rocky ground. Oh no, don't tell me he dies. Restrained, Hilden lashes out against his fatigue. Oh. Restrained, Hilden lashes out against his fatigue assailant but struggles to break his hole. They are close to you. Despite the wind from your position, if you were to throw your weapon at the attacker, you would have a good chance at hitting them up. Allow Hilden to break free of his own. Throw your weapon. Your aim is true, and the hit jars Hilden loose. Lurching to his feet, Hilden clambers up the base of the rocks as he nears the top. However, the wind flares, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. Oh. But diving, but diving, out, onto, but diving out onto the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it, securing his other hand. You pull with waning strength, and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. They hold just long enough for Hilden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. Continue. There is a deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet. And inside the cavity of your own chest, as though it would shake the marrow, the marrow from your bones, each new gust menace hears the old stones before you. Loosening connections, unsettling balances, as you duck beneath the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Alright. Melee engagement makes it difficult for characters to move away from defenders in melee. How about your fiction? Alright. Didn't one of his hands got torn off? Was that? Or is that not Gal um Hilden? It is Hilden. Had to be. Shen is both hands still seems intact. Then we're lucky to be alive. And we're the only ones. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. A moment's respite. Quest complete. Alright. Safe game. Then we're going to create a new safe file. And that is it for this episode. So, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you have enjoyed. And I hope to see you again in the next episode.